get started on this week's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures. Hey everybody, we're here on Seven Mile Hill again and today we're going to show you how we vaccinate our puppies. And so the only thing that I do is the five-way vaccine. And we'll show you how we do that. The rabies and um, any of those other vaccines will be done by a vet. But where we have uh, all these puppies and we have the dogs, we are able to do these by ourselves. So before I ever did this, when we were in Maine, we went to a kennel in Maine and just, and I'm a nurse, but I just wanted this gal who's been doing it for a while to show me so that I know I'm doing everything correct. It's like second nature. But anybody else who's never done this before, definitely go under the guidance of somebody who has so that you'll feel good about it. But not only that, you know, it saves us time and money from having to go to the vet with uh, as many puppies or dogs that we may have at, at one particular time it's a lot cheaper than paying for a vet visit. So we normally get our vaccines, we get the five-way vaccine from Jeffers. This is the typical place to get your animal vaccines, or vitamins, you know, anything that you need in order to take care of your pets. Major pet supplies. Mm -hmm. Major pet supplies, correct. But like I said, this is what we can do without a veterinary license. And when it comes to the rabies or whatever, you need to go to your veterinarian. And that's usually by 16 weeks. I'm going to get hers ready. One of the things that I normally do is I have two needles because I want to swap out. Because any girl, anything that is uh, stuck inside this rubber tip right here will end up dulling your needle. So I switch it out before the puppy gets the vaccine. We don't want to inflict any pain pain on our little precious babies precious cargoes what do you think right now we've been calling this little girl grace she was our firstborn so this is just normal saline or sterile water i'm sorry and this here is our five-way vaccine and so i'm going to put the sterile water in here mix her up and i'm going to pull it back out and you'll see the change in the color see there so we end up giving one cc of this fluid. This is her six weeks. Alaska is not requiring three of the vaccines right now, uh, but the lower 48 does. So she'll get her little vaccine by six weeks and then she'll get one by eight weeks. Okay, then after I do that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out the cap like I told you because I want a fresh needle on here so the puppy isn't going to get any more pain than they have to from having the vaccine okay and then when i do our records you can also get these from um, jeffers if you want to you can get them from ckc so as you can see i got mine from ckc uh, you can get them from akc they all have them so that you have it available to you they also will give you the chips and when this little precious cargo goes home she'll get the chip in place so we can show you that at that time. Right now we're just doing the five-way vaccine. After I do that, I take the label off. So whenever the puppy will go to the vet for a checkup or anything like that, as you can see, I'm pulling the label. It's going to show you exactly what vaccine she had. And I will put on the paperwork the date that I gave it, how old the puppy is. So I'm going to stick this directly on her record like that as you can see and this will tell the vet everything that she's had which is the adenovirus the parovirus the corona the distemper and the para influenza so i'm going to put the date that i did it and her age and she is seven weeks old right now so we did not do it at six weeks because they told me that i only have to do one now so i'll do i do it in between her six and eight weeks she will not be going home until the 13th so she's going to get her her second dose from us okay so I got her all marked. She's our number one puppy. All right. So this is our little girl that we've been calling Grace, but her new name is going to be Khaleesi. That's what the um, new owners are going to call her. The new mom and dad. Okay. So we've got the vaccine all drawn up. And normally with the, the dogs here, they'll put like a rabies in one side. They'll do like the kennel in another side. And But we are going to go right here, okay? You can do a one shoulder or the other. Because they're so tiny and everything, I try to just kind of go for the, right the, near, near the shoulder blade. So you just stick it in. Do not go deep. It's just a subcutaneous, so it's just barely underneath the tissue. 
What a good girl. Crazy girl's a good girl. Yes, yes. Didn't even hurt, did it, babies? No. What a good girl. You deserve a treat. Yes. So we like to try to keep an eye on them. Make sure that, uh, make sure you put the cap on so nobody gets stuck. And then when you dispose of them, you put it, I put them in a container and tape it up so that nobody's going to get cut if we take out the trash. You want to keep an eye on them for a few minutes. We've only, in the whole time that we've been taking care of these dogs, close to 10 years, we've only had one one dog have a reaction. It's always important to just keep an eye on them, make sure there's no swelling going on, and normally it's in the face or the tongue when they get their five way. Oh yeah, what was that? Aloha? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Aloha sorry. did. Which would <laughs> which would be their mama. Yeah. So um we'll take I, precaution here. We this. definitely want to keep a, a good eye yeah. on this puppy to make sure that they don't have a reaction from it. And that's a, about as easy as we could make it for you. We'll do the rest of the puppies as well so you can see them. So we have two girls that have been spoken for it we're going to keep one of the gals i know i don't refer to them as puppies necessarily but and then we have five boys these five boys where we are hoping that they will have some good forever homes and hopefully working homes that's kind of like what we're looking for most of our puppies have gone to beginner mushers mm -hmm. and they are just doing amazing and it's wonderful when they send us videos of the races that they're in or just the work that they're doing the practice they're doing or just having fun at home that's what we really enjoy watching. These puppies are the Sepulous Siberian and I know that you've heard them on there and a lot of people say that all Siberians have Sepulous in it. That's not necessarily true. Unless you can link that back to Leonard Sepulous line or lineage or pedigree, you can't say that they're Sepulous. What I really like about the fact that CKC is registering these dogs as pure pedigrees if they're a Sepulous and if they can prove their lineage back. Our puppies, our kennel all goes back to Togo and his brother Fritz. Well, you're doing terrific. Are we ready to let your brother in? I think that's who's got to be next. Yeah, it's going to be... What do we got on paper? Gideon, Gamaliel... We have Gina, Gina. is next. Okay, so and we'll... Gina is our little black and white female. Yep. And she is going to a family in the area. It was the husband of the team, the husband's birthday. So last time they got a puppy from us, it was her son's birthday. This time, it is the husband's birthday. And he came up with his wife and daughter, and they chose Gina. Gina. She's a beauty. <laughs> so we really encourage anybody who's interested in a Sepla, come on up, visit the puppies, see which one is inclined to go to you. I would prefer that people come up and meet the puppies. We don't yeah. like to do just a lot of stuff over the phone or just snapshots. If you're a musher and I'm familiar with you or my husband's familiar with you, then we're kind of more inclined. But somebody who we've never met or anything like that, I really want you to come in meet your puppy because these puppies are amazing and you may come up here in your mind say i want the white puppy but that white puppy doesn't want you yeah, so you end up going home with a total different puppy and your heart is just totally blessed because you were willing to allow that other puppy who really wanted you to take him home yeah a collaboration <laughs> in harmony is when the puppy picks you and not necessarily you picking the puppy although mm -hmm. some there have been notable cases where you know both the owner and the pup immediately chooses each other. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it works both ways. And, you know, we're fortunate to have this breed that is God's creation. He's given it a unique, not only a personality, but a, an instinct. Sometimes I get taught just by watching these dogs mm -hmm. as Looks much like as me wanting to teach them, you know, whether it's mushing, feeding, obedience, whatever it might be. You've got to take into consideration that every dog, even though it may be a Siberian, may not even run. Some Siberians refuse to run, being in a harness or otherwise. Not every Every Siberian or Sepala Siberian are exact in nature. They're unique, uh, just like humans are, you know, fearfully and wonderfully made, unique in their own right. I mean, it's the same thing with the puppies. Everyone's got a different personality. And so, you know, certain personalities conflict, certain personalities commit to engage. And so for anybody looking for a, a real pedigree, a pup with passion to love back, this is your choice right here. I'm not necessarily to solicit this dog or the next puppy that we're bringing in, but, you know, you can't go wrong with a Siberian Husky. Animals uh, bring great joy regardless of the breed. For all the people interested in the Siberian, you know, I hope you got a lot of what my wife was showing about inoculation and not just the awareness of it, but, you know, the presentation with it. So be blessed and we'll bring the next one in. So this is Gina and I got my little can here. You can use any household can as long as it's tall enough to hold 
the needle. So when you're done with it, what you're going to do is you're going to put the lid on and then you're going to tape it to make sure it doesn't pop open while it's in the trash. So what I do is I make sure I pull you. all of my uh, syringes up girls. ahead of time. Yeah. This is Gina. Gina is the runt and she's the one that was picked as a birthday Good present. Girl. So you ready, Miss Gina? So again, same place. Pick up the skin and you're going to go directly underneath the skin. Good girl. It's really easy. You're only what putting in one cc, daddy. like I said. Snap it on. Yeah. Drop it in. What a good girl. <laughs> So we hope the new puppy parents are watching. So like I said, we want to make sure that they don't have any reaction to yes. it. One of the quickest things that our vet told us to do if we do have a reaction is give the dog some uh, Benadryl and a vitamin C chewable. The vitamin C takes the inflammation down. The Benadryl helps with the allergic reaction. What do you think, Miss Gina? She was pretty vocal outside. Of course, they are. When you walk into the kennel, most of them can relate to one or two things. Most specifically, feeding time. That's generally when they're really vocal. But even after they eat or the time is after their siesta where it's playtime. Sometimes we're late in both. For most of the time, you know, they, they're on a schedule, so they know what time it is. They're pretty vocal about it to let us know or remind us, you know, we need to be out there to feed or to play. This one, pretty boisterous when it came to uh, me going out there. She thought it was playtime. Little did she realize that it was time to get inoculated. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go back outside and play? Take her out and probably, was it the next female? The uh, next one, let me get my book out, will be Gideon. No, we'll be bringing in Gideon. Uh, he's another dark colored one. Yeah, he's the, yep, he's the dark one. The brother that's got the, almost the same markings as this, her. And a lot of times she has nothing on her back. When they're born, we really put a lot of thought into it. We pray about it. The names <laughs> come to us. Girl. This happens yeah. to be the G litter. We try to get as many Native American names. The Native American that is in my heritage and we are where we are right now is where they crossed and they sat here and they settled here many years ago and it it's really cool how everything kind of came full mm -hmm. circle and we came back to where the Cree and the, the Nana and all the different names that they changed it to they were right here on this property that we are on right now. When we first started having puppies we prayed about it at that time. We had already decided that we were going to stick to the Native American language as close as we can. Not talking about the Indian as in India because you got to be careful about that when you're looking for a Native American it is not anything that just says Indian because that's from India. That's not a Native American. So where Cree is in our heritage, uh, that's what we look for. This is the G group. Yep. That's why we have all G's. It's easier with names affiliated with seasons, names, who, at what time, for what group, and if we can relate siblings, and they all got the same first letters of different names, but with the same letter, mm -hmm. it, it's easier for us as record keeping goes, and you know we can remember as time passes who their dame or their sire was. Right, and if we don't have the Cree name, then we use a fake Christian name. And that's why we have Gideon coming up because there's very few names in the letter G in the Cree language. That's why we chose the next one is Gideon. Yeah, <laughs> valiant warrior. We're going to bring him in. That's right. So here we are. This is our little fellow that we call Gideon. On his neck was when he was young, it looked why we we chose Gideon. What a strong name. And this little bugger, he is definitely a descendant. His tail's wagging. There he goes. He's a happy <laughs> he is, puppy. Yes, he is. But he is definitely a true descendant of our friend Togo because this little joker will scream at the top of his lungs and he is steady digging as he's screaming, trying to get underneath the kennel to get out. He has yet to succeed on that. Have you? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and give Gideon his little vaccine. Yeah, it's a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Quick and easy. Little baby kid here. Once you've done there this he is. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Can't help but love these guys. He's got some beautiful piercing blue eyes. Yeah, every one of them in the litter head. He's got a beautiful mask. Daddy's boy. Oh. <laughs> so this little fella's looking for a home. He's going to be a big boy. He's got you know, not only some big paws, but he's got some girth to him. It's an amazing thing. We can't keep every puppy as much as I'd like to due to several reasons. Budget is one of them for us and certainly not set up as in a larger kennel. For two, it wouldn't be fair to the pup. For three, we like to bless others. So 
with these dogs as well. This puppy right here, he's going to be given an opportunity to go and not only companionship for somebody with love and fun, he's going to have an opportunity to interact with other dogs on a team that's going to be uh, beneficial, not only for them, but for him as well. <laughs> he may get the chance to step out, be exploited to something that he may not otherwise if I kept him with selfishness. And we want to, like he said, dog. we want to bless others and we want to get the supplers out there. We want them into working families. And right, because we've got two puppies from our very first litter that, oh no, one of them went into the Air Force as search and rescue. Yep. And then our last litter, we had another one that looks very similar to him that went into the Coast Guard. Both life rescue dogs. All right, leave the hair. Come on. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get our next little fella, and that'll be Gabriel. Okay. So here's Gabriel, another good, strong, biblical name. He's got what looked like a lightning bolt on his neck. He's gray in the gray and white mask. There's my little buddy Gabriel. There he is. Get that little baby boy. A little tip on his tail. Get that little baby boy. What a beautiful boy. You're, you're a good one, too. You're a screamer, too. Okay, let's fix that old neck so you ain't sticking your head up there like that. Let's just easy peasy. Nice, nice, nice. What a nice, good boy. Nice. See this is my little buddy is? Gabe. See how good that is? Oh, you're so quiet now. You're not so quiet out there. He got his little tail going. He's just a little tail bragging. <laughs> there he is, that little tail lagger. There he is, my little buddy Gabriel. It doesn't take much. As long as you got some help, it's a lot easier when you have some help. When you give it to him, you just yeah. pull the skin up so you yes, know you're not going to go in deep. He's a good boy deep. for daddy, huh? You're going to yeah. go right underneath the skin. He's a good boy for daddy. Yes, he is. And they tolerate very well, as you can see. Now, see who's next after this little bugaboo. So this is Gabriel, too. He's looking for a home is it as doggy? well. Who's next? Next is Gita. Gita Mosquita. Yeah. I she's a pesky little oh. pooch, and she's got plenty of... We're keeping her. She's uh, the other girl. She's so sharp, and she kind of, like, took us. Yeah, so she did. So they all love us. We, you know, you can't deny that. But Miss Gita is our keeper. He's got some spot on perfect ears, this one. They all got good ears. All right. Okay, we're going to go bring in the sister. Yes, she is, folks. This oh, is... Ogita Mosquita. Yeah. There was just, you know, something where the way she was flitting around and jumping and her whole body picks up and turns and when she's excited, I had thought about Mosquita and Lance says, hey, that's a good name. So Miss Gita Mosquita is staying with us. Isn't that right, little yeah, one? She'll be the one we keep. She's decided that, huh, kid? That's right. Gita, You're all very Gita, happy. Gita. <laughs> little Mosquita Mosquita. Good girl. What a good girl for daddy. Yes, he is. He's a little baby Gita. What do you think about that? She's sitting real quiet right now. This is not her normal behavior. Normally, she's flitting around. Uh, I don't usually have a hold of her like this either. But she took to her name right away. Yeah, she knows her name. Yep, right away. And we really didn't even start calling them by their names until about oh, a week yeah, ago. About two weeks. We just brought her in the house and, okay, Miss Gita. And she came right to us. And if you think about it, Miss Gita. Miss Gita. Sounds like Mosquito, right? Okay, folks, this will be the new addition to the Seven Mile Hill Sanctuary family. She'll be missing her siblings here for too long. You know, Lord willing, you stay tuned into the website and uh, you'll get to see her face again, not my ugly mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be blessed. Okay, folks, we're back again. This could be a toss-up between Gabriel and Goggy for Alphas. I mean, he's probably the biggest out of all of them. Uh, very outgoing, very strong. This is probably the strongest of the pups. And we called him Goggy because it means raven. But when you look at his face, he's definitely got the markings of a raven. Oh, he's a beautiful boy. He is. He's a handsome boy. I mean, they all are. Oh, little Goggy. We call him Goggy Doggy. He's a brute, and he'll make somebody a good wheel dog, if not, whether he's mid-team or... He you mean out front, it don't matter. He'll take on the uh, framework of wherever they plug him into on the team. Lord willing, he doesn't fuck the system, and he figures that his point of being a Siberian is to is to run and mush. You know, bless uh, with compassion and love. You know, for those that keep him. Is that little baby going? There he is. What do you think about that? Oh, doggy, doggy, huh? And he's also got what looked like to us when he was born that little white blotch right now. If it, it looks like a bird, the the sparrow, you can't tell with all the hair he's got now. But when he was first born, yeah. you could see the wings and the actual body of the sparrow. That's another reason why we chose Goggy. But that face is powerful. Yeah, he's a strong. He's got a big mug, big paws, and, you know, a big brawn. Um, <laughs> and one of these days, he's going to be a big deal for somebody's team. Lord willing, these males, they'll find homes, and good homes, and forever homes, as Robin calls them. Don't you want to say hey to everybody? Get up here, you old thing. Like, you want to there you there go. Check it out. There Check it out. There's a little baby boy. There's Goggy Doggy baby boy. 
check it out. They all need a bath. Once we've done all this, they'll also get dewormed about this time. And then we'll make sure that when they go home the, in the next week, and in another week, they will definitely, they'll get another deworming. Yeah. Um, and the scrubby brushes, they get a, a good bath so that their coat is not only smells fresh, but it's uh, everything's clean. So when the people come to pick up their pooches, they're like, perfect. I'm not going to stink like a dog when I get home. <laughs> And uh, right now, like I said, he's been out rough at housing with his siblings in the kennel. Not that we don't keep a clean kennel. I mean, they do get into it, you know, r rustling and tussling. And so it's Being powerful. puppies. Yeah, it's, it's powerful, for the course. You know, this time of the year, the temperature is changing and it's dropping. And so lots of times at this age, they don't really want to come out of the house to do their business. So sometimes they end up, you know, waiting an extra day in, in pee or whatever. Nevertheless. But he, they are learning. He, they are he's learning. doing good where they got to go to the bathroom, yeah. learning not to do it in the place where they sleep. But he's content. Uh, he lets me hold him. No, you know, his ears are down, but this is all new to him. Uh, no doubt, maybe the light's got a lot to do with it, but he's comfortable. I'm going to take him back out with, him, with his brothers and his sisters, and uh, we've got a couple more to go, I believe, in that one. Yeah, we have Gabe next. Gabe. He's a gray puppy. This light-colored one has got a brother that's a little bit lighter than him, and he's got no mask. But we'll bring him in second. Right now, we're going to bring in Gabe. Gabe. Gabriel's next. We'll talk to you then. Okay, folks. This Here's is Gabe. Gabe. Hold on, kid. Turn around here so they can see you. Gabe means God's able bodied one. Another good, strong name. Yes, what a good boy you are. He is also a digger <laughs> and yeah. will scream while he's digging. And he'll look at you and he'll keep digging. And that's what reminds me of Togo in that movie that how much interconnected he is and he's just he's a happy puppy on my back what a good boy he's a good boy he's my little buddy gabe he's a good boy thank you for hanging in there with us as we give the vaccines to the puppies for their very first time he has a little white blotch on his back but he has absolutely no mask he's a white faced kid huh he is and like i said there's not very many cree names beginning with the letter g so we rely back on our feet okay folks we're down to number eight we got one more oh, to come in well, look over here little man say hello oh no he's gonna oh he's he, gonna be he's shy getting, he's getting anxious because i gotta get him in a spot where i can get under him for give him stability and comfort there he goes there he is Get here, little baby is. boy Skin. good job yeah, his ears are up that was a good picture on yeah uh -huh. okay god bless you guys be right back for the next one which is gamma leo okay folks we got another white faced kid here and gamma leo he's the lighter colored one what is on your head he's a little bit on the dirty side folks Good boy. What a good pup. There he is. What did you get all over your head? So we got number eight here. So they've all now had their... And hopefully these will all find their, their places and homes, Lord willing, and uh, be blessed to find good homes, but also bring a blessing to those that receive them. We hope that you stay connected, not only with Seven Mile Sanctuary, but you would enjoy this video and the presentation that Robin has uh you know, showing you about uh, inoculating for these types of uh, vials put in, you know, for at this point of their age. So, and this little fellow, like we said, we it's Emilio, and if anybody doesn't know, it means God's reward. What a great ending for a litter of eight. Thank you all. Be Have blessed. A blessed day. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures.